Hi, I'm Charu Khosla, and today I will demonstrate the new DesignWare IP Virtual Development Kits, which significantly accelerate IP-dependent software development. The IP Virtual Development Kits, or IPVDKs, are part of the IP Accelerated Initiative that provides solutions for faster software development, easier IP configuration, and customized IP integration. IPVDKs are SDKs that enable software developers to quickly bring up, debug, and test software. IPVDKs are proven targets that plug into standard software tool chains. They provide out-of-the-box support for Linux, as well as reference drivers. They include an ARM Cortex A57 Versatile Express model and can easily be extended to represent the full SOC. Let's take a look at the DesignWare USB 3.0 IPVDK and how it can be used for device driver development. Let's first boot Linux out of the box. We see that Linux reports a USB device driver load error. Before we will use the DesignWare USB VDK to debug the problem, we will show you a few of the IP VDK's capabilities. Let's first explore the target that we are using. We have an ARM Cortex A57 64-bit processor and DesignWare USB 3.0 IP. Now, we are going to edit the parameter that will configure the DesignWare USB 3.0 IP to be a USB device. Within IP VDK, software developers can inspect and override registers. They can also set breakpoints on specific registers and signals between blocks. Let's now use a standard software debugger together with the USB VDK. We are setting a breakpoint on a line in the driver software. The software execution stops at this line We can single step and also examine registers of the ARM Cortex A57 processor. The USB VDK also stops at the hardware register breakpoints we had set earlier. For debugging complex software issues, the IP VDK allows us to look at all relevant software stack and target hardware details. We can look at processor related information and USB-related information, such as signals and registers. Now let's go back and debug the USB driver problem. I open the Linux messages in the analysis view and find the USB error. Now I will show you how easy it is to get complete visibility into the target to debug this issue. First, we find the time of the error the view of the function activity and the stack trace lead me to the driver function that might be causing this error. Looking at the source code, I find that the bug could be either wrong register content or a wrong address. Back in the analysis view, I can see that the hardware register has the right content. Also, it looks like another register was accessed by this function. OK, I have a memory map issue in my driver. Now I can fix the memory map for the ID register and recompile and rebuild my software stack. Let's reboot Linux again and load the driver. The driver is working correctly. Let me connect my virtual USB device to my host computer in this UI in the USB VDK. I see the USB device appear on Windows machine and I can move a file onto the device. And here it goes. So as you just saw, the DesignWare IP VDKs provide a powerful way to quickly bring up debug, and test your IP-specific software, like drivers, boot code, and firmware. The reference system with Linux software stack and reference drivers enable software developers to start in parallel with the SOC development to accelerate the software development time. Thank you.